In this last video, we're gonna make the setups, the last setups, which are the control setups. Okay, as usually, when the controller is connected, we make a read in order to uh, take the values that have already uh, set it on the controller. And we go to the control uh, tab, which is here, down here. Okay, the first five values that you can find here which are this I, IQ and ID and sleep time, I have not found on all the manuals from Kelly uh, what they are for. And I have just uh, checked them out to see what they do and I have not found out any, any difference on the behavior of the motor. So I suppose that uh, they will be uh, released soon what they are for. So I cannot tell you exactly what they do and what they are for. Okay, but uh, the next value is something that we can st start to work on. The first value here that we have, it's um, if uh, we are using an analog break, regeneration braking, here is where you can uh, change how much braking we want uh, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the motor. Okay, here if you put it high, obviously it will break more, and if we, you put it uh, low, it will break less. Okay, this is uh, for the um, Breaking uh, on regeneration breaking with analog uh, setup. Okay, the next one it's if we want the when you release the throttle that we want <coughs> that the uh, regeneration breaking activates automatically. Okay, it makes the same function as in an internal combustion uh, vehicle that as soon as you release the throttle, the motor starts to uh, do some braking. Uh, I usually put it to zero because I do not like uh, the sensation of the motor uh, to start uh, doing regeneration unless I want it to do so. But it's up to you if you want to have uh, that kind of uh, uh, braking, just you can just set it up here and as soon as you release the throttle, the motor will start to do regeneration like in a normal uh, combustion engine car. Okay, the next one, it's uh, if you are using a switch for forward, neutral and reverse, here you can uh, put a value that if you change from uh, reverse to neutral, it will instantly uh, apply uh, regeneration braking. Okay, so this is only, this function is only um, useful or, well, you know, it's only working if you are using that uh, kind of uh, switch, you know, changing from uh, neutral, from, sorry, from forward to neutral or from reverse to neutral, automatically the regeneration will start, okay? The next one, it's uh, acceleration time. Well, this setup, it's, um, what it does, it delays a little bit the uh, acceleration. What it means is that um, it will um, delay a little bit from going to uh, zero torque to maximum torque uh, for, for a while. This is used in, in for two things. The first one is on, in order to protect all your mechanical components. If you have a transmission and your torque goes from zero to 100, you are able to break something on your uh, transmission. So uh, you can set up here a little delay. When I mean a little delay, it's very little, just a tenth of a second. So in order to avoid that, uh, a tremendous uh, change on torque on your on your setup. So here, usually, you can set it up from uh, every every ten uh, value here is just one tenth of a second. So um, so for example, uh, here I set it up for ten, which is a quite low value, but I'm using an um, uh, in wheel motor, so that means I don't don't have mechanical transmission, so I can you know, go from zero to 100 torque quite fast. But if you are using, for example, a gearbox or any, another kind of mechanical transmission, then you can set it up a bit higher in order to avoid uh, damaging the components, okay? The same goes for the release time. You know, if you are uh, releasing um, from uh, maximum torque to zero, they can be, um, if you have a very high weight, uh, moving weight, it is interesting as well to make here a slower deceleration on the on the torque. Okay, the same for the brake. Okay, if we are going from maximum positive torque to maximum negative torque, 
then we want here a little delay in order that to happen in order to uh, protect the, the mechanical components. Here you can see that I can have set it up a bit higher because uh, even if I'm not using a mechanical transmission because it's a half motor, I I'm going to use um, a ring with the spokes and I want to protect the spokes to breaking or getting loose. So I have put here a 15, which is a 1.5 uh, tenths of a second, which is not much, but it's enough to protect the mechanical components and the same for releasing the, the brake. Okay. The next value it's for the brake switch. Okay. If we are using instead of an analog, uh, and an analog uh, braking system, if we are using just a switch, uh, you can set it up here how much braking you want when you uh, activate the brake switch. Okay. The next one is for change direction. If you are using a joystick, for example, uh, the same. If you are going forward, you want to change to go backwards, you can set it up here to, um, uh, to how much brake percentage you want on that uh, direction change. Uh, the next value is for uh, when, when we talked before about the um, climbing height for braking climbing height, here you can set up how much brake you want for that aid. You know, if you are on, on a climbing and you want to start moving, here you can uh, set up how much your motor is going to brake the vehicle from uh, going down the hill, okay? And next one, it's if you are uh, using uh, a joystick, okay, again, uh, here you can set up when uh, the brake is going to be activated, the maximum speed that it will start and, um, and the minimum speed, which is the next one, okay. So the braking uh, effect will only happen between these two speed, which is 10,000 uh, revolutions per minute and 50. Okay. Okay. The next values are the PID control. Okay. Uh, how as they come from factory, they come really well adjusted. Uh, if you want a little bit more acceleration, you can increase a little bit the values. And if you want to decrease a little bit the, the, the acceleration, you can decrease them a, a little bit. But like I said, as they come from factory, they come quite well, quite well set up. So with all with these last setups, we have finished with all the parameters of the motor. In order to get them uh, saved on the controller, you just have to click on write and the controller will uh, answer back that they have been saved with this strange Chinese message and with that noise and we say click accept and we can go back again to read. Okay, and if we read, we can check that all the values in vehicle, etc., are have been uh, saved properly. Now, in order to activate all the new values, you have to unplug your your controller and plug it again. Uh, until you do uh, plug and unplug it again, it, the values will not be activated on your on your controller. And with this, we have uh, finished it for the programming of the of the controller. Hope that all these uh, tips have you help you out and you like the video.